I'll show you the derivation of this simple equation for the thermal efficiency of the air standard Brayton cycle. It's not that hard. So we have the thermal efficiency is going to be work net divided by QN, QN in the burner. Well, instead of work net, use Q net divided by Q in the burner. What is Q net? Q of the burner plus Q in that heat exchanger divided by Q in the burner. So that right away you get the starting to look like what you want it to be 1 plus Q in that heat exchanger divided by Q in the burner. All right, so we'll continue down here. 1 plus, now what is the Q in that heat exchanger? Well, here's this heat exchanger. The Q in the heat exchanger is uh, C sub P T1 minus T4. How about the Q in the, um, this is the burner, B-U-R-N, burner, right in here. That's going to be C sub P times T3 minus T2. Guess what cancels? At this point, you can go a couple different directions in it. But you are going to use this equation twice. All right. So um, let me do this. Uh, let me get rid of the minus sign right here, put a minus, and then switch the order there. So it's 4 and 1 there. Thank you. Yeah. T2 is equal to T1 times the pressure ratio P2 over P1 to the K minus 1 over K. And we're going to substitute that right in there. And then likewise, T3, maybe it's best to sketch that temperature entropy diagram, TS, you have 1 to 2, 1 to 2. And I know 3 goes down to 4, but you could think about turning it around and going 4 back to 3. And so T3 is equal to T4 times the same pressure ratio, P2 over P1, to the K minus 1 over K. And then substitute that one right in there. So you'll end up with uh, eta is equal to 1 minus. T4 minus T1 divided by T4, uh, T4 times this uh, P2 over P1 to the K minus 1 over K minus T1 to the same blah, blah, blah. These cancel, and you're left with the result. It's pretty startling when you think about it. You can get a very simple expression for the thermal efficiency of the Brayton cycle, this gas power cycle, to have increased thermal efficiency, get a higher pressure ratio. And so they, over the years, have really struggled, and engineers have worked hard at designing compressors and turbines to have higher and higher compress pressure ratios.